Okay, this is lesson 11, board sensors, assessment solution. Room monitor, a circuit playground is installed in a secure room and sends data back to a central command post that monitors activity. The app should automatically update the display and following information. The current temperature, the current noise level on a scale from zero to 10, and the current light level on a scale from zero to 10. Do this, create a program that matches the description above. Make sure the values are automatically updating as the program is run. Okay, we can do that. They didn't give us any starter code yet for this one. That's fine. We're gonna have three onboard events. Let's see, we've got a light value, screen element, a sound value, and a temp value. We want these to update automatically, so let's do temperature first. We wanna select the temp sensor, and when it sends data, we're going to set the temp value screen element to the current temperature. Let's grab a set text of the temp value and we want the temp sensor, we'll do Fahrenheit. That should take care of temperature. Let's try that. Yeah, it's 75 degrees in here. What if I heat it up with my hand? Okay, so the temperature, the thermometer is working. It's updating automatically. Let's do the sound value next, and we have to scale it from zero to 10. We're gonna set scale from zero to 10. And grab another set text, set the sound value to our sound sensor reading. Let's try that. Oops, we forgot to select sound sensor data. Run. That doesn't, I guess, I mean, from zero to 10, you don't get much change on that. I don't know. I mean, what if we, let's set it from zero to 100 to when we test it. It's good. That's weird. Clapping doesn't seem to do much. The whistle, it, I don't know, the sound sensor seems to pick up higher frequency sounds. I don't know. You know, we could test that. We'll test that at the end just for fun uh, with the buzzer. So, but let's do the light sensor and, well, let's set this back from zero to 10. And then the light sensor is gonna be the same thing. We're gonna set the scale zero to 10, set text, light value, light sensor, value. Light sensor here, data, run it. Our light, I have the lights off in here. We're reading a zero. Let me get my flashlight here. Oh yeah, that's working. Okay. That's it. That's the solution. But I'm interested in the sound sensor now, so why not have some fun? What if we add a screen element, a slider that can control the pitch of the buzzer and see how the sound sensor responds. Bummer that I don't have a design tab here. Uh, so I'm gonna remix so I can get a design tab. And then I'm gonna add a slider down here at the bottom. And I'm gonna call this buzzer frequency. Back to the code. Let's see, we're gonna add a buzzer block. Nope, we're gonna add a on event block when the buzzer frequency slider is changed. We're going to buzz. 
and we're going to put in the slider value here. So we need to get property, well, we need a variable, get property of the slider, we want to get the value from the slider, stored in buzz slider, and then we want to write that to the frequency. And we better set the minimum maximum because zero to 100 is going to be low frequency. We probably want to go from like 100 to 900. Let's see if that works. That's kind of fun. Um, but I want this to continually buzz. So we should use an onboard event. And we'll say when the sound sensor data, try that. I mean, it's fun. It doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be sensing higher frequencies better. I don't know why a whistle would work better than a clap, but maybe it's because I'm moving more air when I whistle on the thing. Okay, that's annoying. All right. Uh, well, that was fun anyway. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching. See you next